You know, so many of you will climb into your cars today, perhaps to shuffle your children to soccer, to football, make that run to the grocery store. But do you also know what's climbing into your cars with you? In part one of our series, Hidden Germs, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, we're going to take a look at the germs living in your cars. ABC's Nancy Cordes has more. Jack, did you make a mess? New Jersey mom, Deborah Farber, uses her SUV for a lot more than just oh, yeah. getting from A to B. Um, I just wanted to confirm our appointment. Sometimes it's an office. Sometimes it's a closet. Sometimes a dining room. Jack, stop eating like a piglet. With two kids under three years old, it's often a dining room. Jack. Like so many American moms, Deborah, who works full-time in pharmaceutical sales, lives in her car. And it shows. Crumbs, raisins, bagels, anything the dog can't eat, it's in the car. And half the time I'm like jumping in and out of the car, I don't have time to clean it. I try to get to the car wash, you know, as often as I can, but it doesn't always happen. Compare that to her husband Stephen's brand new BMW, which the kids have only been allowed to ride in a couple of times. His car is like a sanitarium. He doesn't even let me drive the car. Deborah admits she'd never let her house get this way. This number actually represents millions of bacteria. We asked germ uh, expert Dr. Chuck Gerba to swab every inch of Deborah's car and Stephen's to let them know, for better or worse, what's growing in there. We found that uh, cars were the moldiest of all forms of transportation that we looked at. He says most people don't realize their cars are perfect breeding grounds. From what we saw in cars, germs seem to tend to build up because people aren't really cleaning or disinfecting these areas. We never thought about it before, but our germs are traveling with us and everybody that travels in that car carries their germs and leaves them in your car. So the oatmeal is pretty good. It feeds children and bacteria at the same time. Dr. Gerba took the samples back to his lab at the University of Arizona, while Deborah waited and worried. This is definitely making me nervous. I mean, obviously I wouldn't want to expose the kids to any harm, so they both have colds now, and I'm sure you'll find plenty of germs in the car. Unfortunately, she's right. Dr. Gerba found millions of bacteria on the door handles, car seat, and floor of Deborah's SUV, compared to just a few hundred in Stephen's new Beamer. He even found MRSA, a staph bacteria that can cause skin infections. The germious areas in your car are your dashboard, your change holder, and where you keep your coffee, actually. The reason is the dashboard is because the airflow is over your dashboard, and so the bacteria tend to build up on that surface. We headed back to New Jersey to give Deborah the bad news. On the car seat, Dr. Gerba found not thousands of bacteria, but hundreds of thousands from the sample that he took, plus mold, all over Alexis's car seat. And that's what it looks like. Ugly. Very ugly. This is what Dr. Gerba found on the cup holder in your SUV. This is mold and thousands and thousands of bacteria. I can't even look at the picture. Where you're putting your drink exactly. every day. Exactly. Is there any way he didn't find yeah. bacteria? <laughs> Actually, the radio dials were quite clean. She's the only one who touches them. As for the rest of the car, Dr. Gerba says Deborah, like the rest of us, should consider wiping down some parts with a disinfectant once a week. I'm going to wipe down this car as soon as you leave. <laughs> Oh, but there's nothing unusual about here. Married people's cars are germier than single people's cars because two people are using it. The germiest cars are actually in places like Florida where it's warm and humid, perfect breeding ground for bacteria, while the moldiest cars end up being in the Northeast where temperatures are cooler, David. I love the dad who keeps his kids out of the BMW. We gotta I get know. them in there a few more germs. But I wanted to ask you about the handles. You talked about them in your piece. How germy were the handles? Well, actually, the, germ, the, the handles on the inside of the car are germier than on the outside because the car's in the sun. The handle isn't as hospitable to germs as the inside of the car. And when you wash your car, those germs are cleaned away. Also, people are more likely to wash the outside of the cars more often and more thoroughly than they actually clean the interior. One rule of thumb, think of how often you clean your kitchen countertop or your dining room table 
and do the same for your car just as often. Also, most car washes do offer deep cleaning of carpets, panels, and upholstery for as little as $50. Not that much for some peace of mind. I think Kate's at the car wash now with her kids <laughs> in the back seat.